it's Bunny, and today we are gonna be doing a pretty giant size Sephora hurl. Let's look at a bunch of stuff I bought that I really didn't need to buy. It kind of reminded me of Christmas time because I went in there for a specific purpose and like a couple things that I needed and then I saw a bunch of new stuff and I just started buying things. Oh, I spat on my tissue paper right off the top. Yes. Let's just dive right in. The very first thing I've been wanting to try forever, and they had a giant display about these products in the store, is the Glam Glow masks, mud mask type thing. This is kind of the traditional one, I believe, in the black packaging, but this product is supposed to make a super thick mud mask that you peel off of your face, I believe. It's supposed to extract blackheads and all kinds of other nastiness. I got a couple things that sound too good to be true, but intrigued me nonetheless. And the very first thing is by Soap and Glory, and it is the Sit Tight Super Strength Body Firming Serum, and this is the one I believe that is just for your legs. I tried it in the store and it felt kind of tingly and different. I don't know, it's just supposed to make your skin look nicer and tighter, especially on your legs, and we definitely still have enough summertime time in Texas left that nice looking legs are important, so I got this. And the next product that's kind of like that, which almost has like a semi-offensive name to me, is Fat Girl Slim Arm Candy by Bliss. But this basically does the same thing as this, except for this is specially targeted for your arm areas. The Soap and Glory brand also has one for arms, but I tested this one and this one smelled kind of minty. So I put the arm one back from this brand and got this one and that is just really confusing that I just told you. Also by Bliss, I got this crazy device, which I'm pretty excited to test out. I think I'm gonna do a first impressions Friday about this thing. It is a device. You guys may know that I struggle with chapped dry lips all of the time. So this is the Fabulips Pout-O-Matic and it's almost like the little teeth cleaning polishing device that they use on your teeth in the dentist except for it's for lips. It's like a tiny little like, I don't know if microderm abrasion would be the right thing. It's just like a teeny tiny little abrasive pad and special lip scrub for your mouth. I'm pretty excited to see if this thing works or not. Next, I tried another new brand. I'm kind of having a weird tan leg situation going on this summer where I'm getting some kind of wonky tan from driving around in my car too much, I think. Just the top parts of my legs are tan, but not the back or under the knee. It's just, it's very strange. So I saw this new brand. I think I've seen it in Sephora before, but I just never picked up any of the products for whatever reason, but I finally tested it out and uh, I think I might like it. So the brand is Perfect and it's kind of like this hyphenated type word, and it is a body perfection gel. And they have a variety of different colors. It has a really nice feel to it. It's almost like a silicone souffle. Just a teeny tiny amount goes a long way. And actually the product, I'm not sure if you can see it on my finger or not, it almost looks like one of those mud masks, almost. It's very like thick and kind of grainy, but then when you put it on, it just feels very smooth. It's got a little bit of shimmer. It's just kind of supposed to even out whatever you've naturally got going on. I don't even know if y'all can tell that I applied it right here. Can you see that swatch? Probably not. And then I decided I wanted to try some more of their products. So I also got the Skin Perfecting Gel, which oddly enough, they say you're supposed to only pat on your face. You're not supposed to rub it in or use a brush or anything. It comes in this little bitty tube. I got the lightest shade and I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not once I 
smooth it out, but it's just a really light, luminous color. And yeah, see, no, nope, you can't really tell once I rub it in. It's funny that I said luminous because that's exactly the shade of this product. Lastly from them, I got the Skin Perfection CC Cream. And uh, you guys know, I know through trial and error, a lot of uh, the CC creams and BB creams, they're kind of a hit or miss. It's in this kind of weird compact type thing. They give you a little spongy applicator and it's all sealed up in there. And it does definitely have a creamy texture to it. And I'm not even gonna try and swatch this because it's the same shade as the Skin Perfection Gel. It is in Luminous and it's just supposed to be a perfecter. It's not really supposed to add any color. Moving right along to the thing that I bought that I actually needed, which is a miniature Murad tester kit. These are all of my tried and true products, but they are all in small travel sizes so I can get away with taking them on the airplane. This has the clarifying cleanser and the acne clearing solution lotion treatment, which I've become super addicted to since I found it about three months ago. You get an SPF 15 lotion in here and a little spot treatment in case you have any breakouts. Convenience! Next thing that I was so glad I could get my little phalanges on is by Hourglass. And over the past couple of months, I've really got into their different ambient lighting compacts. I saw on Instagram that they were going to have a palette of uh, three different ones. One of them, which is only exclusive to this palette. If you guys have ever seen these things, they can honestly get kind of pricey when you're buying it for each separate compact. So uh, there's a bronzing one and one that's kind of like in the middle and then a good highlighter, all conveniently enclosed in this one teeny tiny palette. The next thing I got, thanks so much to you guys' suggestions. Y'all have been showing me this on Instagram and Twitter and all over the world. And it is a brand new Smashbox product and it is one of their photo finish primers, except for this one is for blemish control. It's green, so it balances out red face demons. And it also has 2% salicylic acid in it. You guys know that I love primers and stuff with salicylic acid in it because I feel like not only am I putting on makeup and and uh, doing that whole thing, but I'm also still getting in a good acne treatment for the day. Next, I have a couple more Soap and Glory products, and I wish I would have remembered to show you these earlier when I was talking about Soap and Glory. I got this body wash. I've been really into using body washes instead of soaps lately. I don't know why. This one is clean on me. It's creamy and clarifying. It smells really, really good. It's really difficult to explain. You just have to smell it for yourself. It's kind of florally, but not oppressively florally. If you know, it's not like somebody just hit you in the face with a flower bouquet. I like it. I also got their Flake Away Exfoliant. It is shea butter and uh, sugar and peach seeds, but I'm trying to be better about exfoliating my skin. I bought some of those little exfoliant gloves the other day from Walmart and I wanted a really nice not too grainy, you know, not too rough kind of exfoliants. And they had a tester of this out in the store the other day, so I scooped a little bit and discovered that it's not grainy and gross. I don't think it's gonna be too abrasive on my skin, is what I'm trying to say. I repurchased the full-size acne clearing solution from Murad. I'm almost out of mine. I think I did buy it about three months ago. It's working wonders on my skin. It has 0.5% salicylic acid, but I really just feel like it really helps to keep face demons at bay. I'm talking a lot about face demons today. I feel like I'm trying to get through a lot really fast. I got two of the Sephora in-house makeup brushes. You guys know I am obsessed with makeup brushes and these are a little bit shorter handle-wise than some other brushes that I own. So once again, I think that they will be perfect for traveling. I got this one, which is a full coverage airbrush. 
foundation brush not opening also i love how these brushes come with their own little container which i also think is good for traveling because it keeps your bristles from getting all messed up it's almost like a little fan shaped powder brush i mean it's not almost it clearly is a fan shaped powder brush so I thought this would kind of be good for doing multiple tasks. My foundation I'm wearing lately is a powder. I can apply that with this. You could also use it as a contour, highlight, really whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. I also got, where did it go? Oh yeah, uh, this little brush, which is uh, airbrush concealer. And I use an under eye brightening powder. So this is really why I got that brush. It is just a, you know, small, compact, nice powder brush. I'm assuming you could use this for, you know, liquid or cream concealer as well. Lastly, I got a product from uh, Bobbi Brown. And uh, once again, it is a CC cream. I went a little bit overboard, I feel, this time with primers and correctors, stuff like that. This one is pale nude. When I swatched it in the store, I swear it was almost a little bit shimmery, which I love in the summer to have shimmery, dewy looking skin. Also, I was intrigued by this product for traveling because it has 35 SPF in it. So if I'm doing a lot of walking in New York, like I hear I'm gonna be doing, at least I'll have a lot of protection on my face from the sun. When you put it on, it's kind of a pink lavender color and you're probably not gonna be able to see it once I rub it in, but maybe at least you'll be able to see some of the dewy, lightly shimmery kind of texture going on there. Can you tell? That is what I got this time. I know it's a lot. It probably seems a little bit excessive, but makeup is what I do. Anytime there are new products on the market, I cannot resist but to get them and try them, wipe them all over my face. Let me know down below if you guys want to see First Impression Fridays or demos of me using any of these products in particular and uh, we'll explore how well they work together. That is it for today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, I'd love it if you'd like to be. Hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wangs. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here today and for spending some time with me, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.